Hi everyone, this is Soraya Spector with AgonyGaming.net and I'm here to show you all my staff Elementalist build. So I went with a high critical chance build. My critical chance is 57% with an 85% critical damage while I'm just standing around in Lion's Arch. So that means over half my hits will crit and that's not too shabby. My gear is transmuted berserker gear which is the power precision crit stuff. That goes for all my trinkets and accessories as well. I'm wearing the Book of Secrets Ascended Back Piece in the Call of the Wild Amulet though. And as I get more laurels, I'll be upgrading all my stuff to Power Precision Crit Ascended gear. In my gear, I'm using the Of the Pack runes, which has power and precision on it. And the number four set bonus is to grant a random boon to yourself and party members every time you are struck. Don't worry, it procs a lot in this build. You get hit a lot. That differs from normal crit damage builds because most people use the ruby orbs because of the power, the extra power precision and crit. I just went this way because I like the boom. Um, my build looks like this with uh, 20 points in fire, 20 points in air, nothing in earth, 10 in water, and 20 in arcana. In the 10th slot in fire, I chose to deal 10% more damage while attuned to fire. That's Roman numeral number six. This makes you a powerhouse. This is the attunement that does the most damage. It is good to do 10% more in fire. In the 20 point slot in fire, I chose to have all my fire weapon skills recharge 20% faster. That's number seven. The faster your fire skills recharge, the more damage you do. In the 10 point slot in air, I chose number six, which deals 20% more damage to foes with less than 33% health. This comes in handy in long fights like bosses and doing more damage at the end may be the reason you live or die. In the 20 point slot in air, I chose number seven, where you gain 3% more, percent more critical hit damage for 10 seconds after you use an arcane skill. I use my arcane skills every time they come up and say arcane blast has a 16 second cooldown so for two-thirds of the fight or so I'm doing three percent more crit damage just by casting arcane blast. In the 10 point slot in water I chose number two arcane and signet skills cause vulnerability when activated. So in my seven eight and nine spots on my on my action bar I have arcane skills in a signet so every time I use one I make the target more vulnerable to my party's hits. So in Arcana I have 20 points. In the 10 point slot in Arcana I have number 5, Elemental Attunement. It's always good to give your friends boons. In the 20 point slot in Arcana I have number 1, Arcane Skills Recharge 20% Faster. The faster you recharge, the faster you can use them. And because of the 20 point slot in air, the more crits you get. The key to, to being a Staff Elementalist is not sitting in one attunement too long. You want to toss your boons by switching attunements. So do it whenever you can. If you watch, when I notice my party is getting low in health, I'll pop water and giving everyone a regen boon. Toss out a geyser and try to hit everyone while with healing rain. And then by that time, I can switch back to, to fire and blast the target some more or go to earth and get give everyone protection if we need it or toss out my earth elemental. All the while I'm watching my arcane blast, my number seven skill on my bar and hitting it every time it comes up so I get more crit. I also use Arcane Shield all the time for survivability. I usually pop that every time it comes up. In my number 9 slot, I have Signet of Fire, which while passive improves my critical chance. However, when it is active, you burn your foes for a base damage of 30 to 80 over 10 seconds. It crits too, so the number it burns the target for can be a lot more than that. Then my elite skill is always Glyph of Elementals, for mainly my Earth Elemental. It helps with survivability because he can take some of my hits for me. Thank you so much. This is Soraya Spector with AgnyGaming.net. Uh, have a nice day.